condo living with kids. Is it doable? I actually think it's way more doable than people realize, especially early on. I agree. And if you want to hear our tips on how to make your Toronto condo work with kids, keep watching. Welcome back to our channel. I'm Stephanie Noss with the Home Plissy Realty Group at Keller Williams. And today I'm joined by my colleague, Nicole Schloss. Hello everyone. I'm Nicole mm -hmm. and I'm excited to be here to talk a little about a topic that is very near and dear to a lot of parents' hearts, condo living with kids. Yeah, for sure. We've had so many clients in this scenario. Yeah. Condo living with kids can definitely be a challenge, but it's also an opportunity to create a convenient and cost-effective home for your family. And as an experienced real estate agent in the Toronto condo market, I think we've seen it all when it comes to condo living with kids. Yeah, I think we have. Yeah. I think we have. So let's dive right in. One of the biggest challenges that parents face when it comes to condo living with kids is, well, space. Yeah. Let's face it, living in a condo with kids in downtown Toronto can be a little bit like playing a game of Tetris. Mm, that's true. But the good news is that there are a lot of ways that you can make the most of your space. So for example, having your furniture do double duty like a storage ottoman or a bed with built-in drawers can really be a game changer. And don't forget about going vertical. So adding things like shelves or a hanging organizer on the stacking. back of your door. Yeah, stacking, that can really help. That actually works for all spaces, That's true. <laughs> not just condos. Yeah. But speaking of challenges, another one that comes to mind is noise pollution. Mm. Living in a condo means being mindful of your neighbors. And let's be honest, Kids can be loud. Yes, as the mom of a five-year-old, I am fully aware. But a few soundproofing hacks and you can create a quieter zone for your family. So for example, I've seen people use bookshelves or curtains as sound barriers that can really help. And things like thick carpets or rugs can also absorb some of the noise and add an extra layer of insulation. Although that's gonna be more helpful for the people below you versus quieter for you. Your neighbors will appreciate you. They will. And speaking of noise and neighbors, mm -hmm. let's not forget about those judgmental ones. Mm. Uh, living in a condo means sharing space with people who may not understand the joys and challenges of raising kids. Yeah, that's a great point. And I can relate a bit. I remember not having kids and wondering why someone's child was running screaming <laughs> up and down the hallway. Um, I can obviously sympathize now. I think as a parent in a condo, you need to set some boundaries with your kids and build relationship. Just really create more of a sense of community within your condo building. It's really about being proactive and introducing yourself and your mini human mm -hmm. to your neighbors. And that way you might meet a fellow parent who can relate to your struggles or set up some play dates even. Or a babysitter. Or a babysitter. Now, I love all kids. You do. But I can see how people without kids could get a bit irritated about children gone wild. Yeah. So I think one of the often overlooked topics here is the benefits of condo living with kids. Mm -hmm. For example, living in a condo can be a really smart financial move for mm -hmm. families, lower maintenance costs, shared amenities like pools and gyms. There's lots to do. Yeah, the convenience of it. Living in condo usually means having everything you need within reach. So grocery stores, coffee shops, Publix transit, and a lot of the condos are located in great, super walkable neighborhoods that offer many activities and entertainment options like parks, museums, even shows. Yeah, and let's not forget about the cute small space vibes. Yeah. Just because you're living in a condo doesn't mean you can't create a warm, welcoming space. Pinteresty. Yeah, <laughs> for your family. With some creative decorating tips, you can make your condo feel even cozier than a house with things like bunk beds. Oh, kids love those. A great view. Yes, I miss the big windows and views from my condo for sure. There are actually a lot of benefits to living in a condo, especially if you have very young kids. With home prices, gas prices, and traffic, it's really not surprising that a lot of families are choosing condo living in Toronto. I totally agree. Yeah. And to help parents navigate condo living with kids, we've also actually put together mm -hmm. some hacks to make things a little bit easier like getting creative with storage, soundproofing everything, and just keeping it clean and clutter-free. Oh, the clutter-free. <laughs> That's hard with kids. Um, I think cost savings are also a big draw for families. A condo, you have the lower controlled maintenance costs and often shared amenities like pools and gyms. Plus a lot of the newer condos are designed to be really energy efficient and that can help you save on your utilities and you have less chance of unexpected major costs popping up. Yeah, and living in a condo can also be incredibly convenient. Sure. 
Some of them even have daycare, mm -hmm. um, kids play areas. Yeah. You have everything you need within reach. Like Steph said, grocery stores, coffee shops, to public transit. This can be a game changer for busy families mm -hmm. who want to spend less time commuting and more time enjoying each other's company. Yeah. Plus, as Steph mentioned already, most condos are in very walkable neighborhoods that mm -hmm. offer a variety of activities and entertainment options. Yeah, I think the most important part of condo living with kids is like always gonna be the storage factor. When you're short on space, every single inch counts and there's plenty of ways that you can take advantage of the square footage. Mm -hmm. Like we said, that getting the double duty furniture, wall mounted shelves, organizer stacking. Plug beds, it all helps. Yeah. And if you're feeling overwhelmed with the prospect of condo living with kids, remember that it is totally doable. Mm -hmm. And we hope this video gave you some tools to make the most of your condo living experience. And if you did get some good value from the video, please don't forget to give us a like and don't be afraid to take the plunge and embrace the unique joys of condo living with your kids. Whether you're a first time parent or a seasoned pro, we are here to help you create the space that works for you and your family's personal style. Yeah. And if you're currently living in a downtown condo and you want to explore the possibility of a house, mm -hmm we could definitely help you with that too. Yeah. And remember, condo living with kids is totally possible and we're here to help you make it work. So contact us today to learn more about finding the perfect condo or detached house in Toronto and for your family. <laughs> Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.